In the previous video, we came across for the first time the supernatural beings that haunt the metro tunnels. In this level, we will learn about a new phenomenon to this world that can be either friendly or hostile. Han was an unusual man, but I suppose he was also a man of his time, moving between the dark and the light, searching for answers buried in the rubble. In the anomaly level, you can finish what you started in Ghosts and complete the Exorcist achievement. As I told you before, in order to accomplish this achievement, you have to not die in the Ghosts and Anomaly level. This becomes very easy if you follow Khan's orders at the exact moment he gives them to you. Doing otherwise will definitely cost your life and therefore the completion of the Exorcist achievement. When he tells you to stop moving, you have to freeze your hero immediately, and when he tells you to step aside and not interfere, you have to simply watch and not act. An anomaly is a floating light orb that radiates electricity. It can kill you if you come in direct contact with it, or if it thinks you are hostile, it will use electrical discharges to kill you. The only way to make it understand that you are not a threat is by staying still, no matter how close it will come. I would suggest to not shoot them, cause doing so may cost you moral points if you are trying to unlock the alternative ending. I remind you that the moral points are the short screen flashes appearing when you do something different, such as staying still and let the anomaly approach you in this level, or not shooting the dark ones at the dead city levels. Last, I would like to mention that these creatures, apart from the evil side, they have a good side too, something that you will see later in this level. Sometimes I separate myself from Khan, but only in cases where I know that I can find some ammo, medkits or golden bullets in nearby corpses. In this case, you can also find a revolver with a rifle stock, a pretty good choice if you don't have an upgraded revolver in your arsenal. In this fight, you won't have a hard time killing the Nasalises. Khan is an excellent shooter. He is so good that you might think that you are not killing any of the Nasalises. The only case where you will see that you indeed help in this battle is when Khan reloads his weapon. At some point, you will see sparks coming out of the rails, and that's where Khan will order you to step aside and let the anomaly take care of the Nosalysis. I would like to mention that it doesn't matter in which spot you will be standing when the anomaly comes, although at the second time during the battle, you will have to approach Khan, otherwise the anomaly won't be able to attack the Nosalysis. We have almost reached the end of this level, but for a bit I will not follow Khan, cause I want to collect some ammo, golden bullets and medkits.
Now we have to get on a rail car and have a small conversation with Khan before the level ends. Do not be alarmed, the only enemy that will appear is a single lurker that you can very fast and easily kill. The Ghosts and Anomaly level, where we had Khan in our company, didn't have too much action, but believe me, the Cursed level will have lots of it. I hope you enjoyed my video guys, don't forget to subscribe and leave me a comment down below. Thanks for watching. Let's go.